So I'm here with Ashley Morley, um, who's just finished fourth in the World Bartender Championships. Ashley, congratulations. Uh, talk me through how that went. Uh, it went uh, really well. So I uh, started off with 10,000 people, um, whittled it down to the last 12 in the World Bartender Championships, finished off fourth. So yeah, really happy with that. You've got five judges or five guests, and you're meant to show them what you would do behind your bar. So you go behind the bar, you take their drinks order, and then you can make it, you've got eight minutes to make it as most entertaining way as you feel that it needs to be. I did a lot of work in flair, which involves uh, throwing bottles with liquor in them uh, around behind my back, so I'm actually making the drinks at the same time. Um, also did little tricks like balancing a glass on a spoon. The favorite drink I, um, I like to give my guests and I like to drink myself is uh, English Garden. It's a uh, gin, um, elderflower cordial, cranberry juice and apple juice. It's like a really refreshing drink. It's got a lot of flavor to it. Um, a lot of the drinks I like to make for uh, some of my guests are the drinks that may be layered with different colors because they all like to have a look at the different colors. Uh, you got to train every day. So if I'm not working, I'm training. Um, before the competition, I was up at 9 a.m. at the latest training, and then while I'm at work, I'm still practicing all my moves in front of my guests. So a lot of my guests got to see the good side of my moves and you know the practicing side of my moves. How many hours a day would you say you're, you're training for it? On average, 10 hours a day, I would say. I imagine then being a bartender for you is not just a job; it's a, it's it's a lifestyle. Yeah, it's I, I see this as a, a career for me. So. Um, I come in, I study, I train hard. Um, it's not just coming in and doing a job for me. For me, this is like my university degree. For me, this is my career. On a final note then, obviously you finished fourth this year in the, uh, the, the World Championships. Um, are you, what are your hopes for next year? Do you think you can win it? Everyone's asking me this question. Everyone's saying congratulations. And I'm always saying, yep, yeah, fourth is absolutely amazing for now. I want to go back and I do feel like I can win it if I get, if I get the chance to go again, yes.